And we're back. It's dog time. I mean, hello, hello. Welcome back. It's time to be a dog. Meanwhile, back at Penn Mansion. It's dog time. Dog time. Dog, 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 dog. Doug's rich and yours is not. There's no toy I haven't got. There a tantrum it gets by. Ima is my name. Ima is my name. Na 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 na. <laughs> I'm a rich and I must not, and I don't really care. Love all doggies, big and small. Live just like a doll. Do their paws to parasols. Ima is my name. Oh, that was so bad. Why haven't you bitten her face off yet? I can only conclude from this that deep down... Really deep down, Lockjaw is the bestest boy. Fluffy. Bathy wathy. Yuck. I hate all of this. I hate everything about this. There's a tree right there. Yeah, shake off whatever the heck that was. Okay, Lockjaw. It's friggin' time. We're gonna chew the shit out of everything. Chew the shit out of this dress? Yeah! Wreck it! Chew the shit out of this blanket? No, oh, it's too covered in perfume. Okay, fair. Smell of the butler? Why would the water smell of the butler? It's just water, right? Anyway, chew up the bed. Yeah! Take your aggressions out on that little stupid bed. Oh, how does it taste this? What is that? Feathers. Ooh. <laughs> Fills Lockjaw with horror! Yeah, legit. What's this thing? Yuck. What is that thing? Another doll. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Study your handiwork. Well, not anymore. You chewed it all up. has more pink fluffy silk things in her room than any ten people should have. <sighs> what other things can we chew on? Have some more water. Lockjaw still feels thirsty. He takes another drink. Wow, a long drink. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, you pee on the dress after you've ripped it up. The wait, uh, mm, it is that chamber pot for the dog? Oh, hello. Oh, I don't think so. Look at you. That's true. It would do him a world of good. Let's just do that. That's the weirdest bark noise. Also, wow, these animations. Done with that. Bye! Peace! Gonna get into that dresser. Nothing can stop him. What's this? No, I want the little the little present. Gotta have the goodies. Where the Oh, I probably should have smelled the fucking dresser first. It probably smelled like treats. 
Oh, maybe not. What's this? Alright. Well, either way, I want this. No, the key! Grandma! And that too. And now we need to open this somehow. I mean fair. That's fair. Oh, well, uh. Mm. I mean, rose water was super common. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, fine, whatever, I don't care. That's fair. Oh! Okay, um... I want these, though. I want- I want- I want them. Don't put things down. Keep them- keep them hidden in your mouth. There we go. Alright, now we can go in there. Keep- keep them hidden in your mouth. Uh... Why? If what I- Okay, that's fair, I guess. Oh, heck, I remember this. Oh, heck. Gathers his courage and grabs a mouthful of shroud. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh. Fluff em foo. All I did was shampoo you, shave your paws, pierce your nose, put your Put rings upon your little toes, so why, oh why, did you run away and jump into the sea that day? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, but, oh, 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 this is dark. Why... Oh! Okay, that's a little much. Ah! Oh! What? <laughs> that's not true. Okay. I just thought that was a little extravagant. This is messed the frick up. This is so messed up. I'm... Ugh. No way! Watch <laughs> has respect for the dead. Okay, fair. Oh, but there wasn't a buzzsaw noise. You could have done a buzzsaw noise. You specifically said it was a buzzsaw thing. Did it turn? Oh, it turns. There we go. Okay, that's actually clever. Huh. Lockjaw can see people just behind the fire and knows to spy on them because he is a reporter dog also. Ooh, a secret behind the painting. How would Knockjaw communicate that to Pepper? That's a very tiny... Percy! How is the tax operation going? Are you keeping those stupid sentries in line? They don't know the, tap is, the stamp tax is a fake, do they? No, sir, General Pug. They have no idea. How much money have we taken in so far? Scads and oodles! I'd say half the town has rung dry. 
And the other half is still slightly damp, so... Good. My wings aren't cheap. Ugh. Remind me to beat you for letting Aima have that horrible mutt. Oh, he's into it. Never mind. Blasted right. You should have. You just better not slip up again, you miserable toady. I want you to keep an eye on Ben Franklin in case he decides to get out of that oversized wash tub. Yes, sir. So there's a teeny, weeny, itty, bitty, minuscule problem. You know I hate that word. This reminds me of the dynamic of... What's his name? Dr. Robotnik in uh, the new Sonic movie. Poor Richard. Mm. Probably less affectionate, though. Oh! We're back here. We're back here again. It's dog time is over, friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have chewed up more things. I have wasted the opportunity. It's okay. We'll get we'll, we'll be back there. We can chew up more things later. Hello. 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 Uh good afternoon, Mrs. Franklin. I'd like to see Benjamin Franklin, please. No. But Mrs. Franklin, I really need to see him. I have a terrible problem. No. But you don't understand. My dog's been kidnapped by the pugs. Please, I need Mr. Franklin's help to get him back. Lad, I'm truly sorry about your dog. There was a time Ben could have helped, but not now. He can't even help himself. He's gone round the bed, filling the colonists' heads with all sorts of silly mush. I wanted to say frilly in there so badly. My brain was like, say it, say it here, say it here, mess up this word and say it. I am allowing him no visitors. If I let you in to see him, he'll just be a bad influence on you too. But, but, if you could get Ben, if you could help Ben get him interested in his experiments, perhaps I'd let you in. I'm sorry, but you have to leave now. Goodbye. I will not take no for an answer. That is not Pepper's way. Dot, dot, dot. I made the noggy sound way too early. That was me, not weird singing issues. Mrs. Franklin, I could be a good influence on Ben. I know a lot of cool things I could tell him about, and great jokes, and all the more reason for you to stay away from him. If you go in there, all of that dazzling wit of yours will go right out with the bathwater. I'm telling you, he's become dangerous to public health. Good day, lad. No. Uh, I will not be denied! Uh. <laughs> I will not be denied. I'm gonna pass through the shit out of you. You cannot fail this section. Cause it'll keep repeating till you figure out the right solution, which you should have already had cause they wouldn't have let you pass the turnstiles without the box. Ha. <laughs> it's probably a cup of smelly incense or more of those wretched love beads. You may keep it, lad. You may you enjoy it. But maybe it's something Mr. Franklin really needs. I seriously doubt it, lad. Tell you what, open the package for me. If it's something that may do Ben some good, maybe I could let you see him. If it's something foolish, you can throw it in the river for all I care. Okay. We got the box. Now it's time to do something illegal and open his mail. An electricity book? Yes! Something I legitimately would want. I opened the book. <gasps> what a coincidence! 
Pepper has opened the book to the chapter entitled Leyden Jars. Let's see what it says about them. Oh, here we friggin' go. The Leyden Jar is a mysterious and wonderful thing. It can hold the fire of the heavens and keep it contained for many hours. Use the Leyden Jar with care, for it is a mighty instrument. For a diagram of this amazing invention, look in your documentation on page 18. Thanks, fourth wall. Wait, no, open it. And now just just use it. You can't use that. Yes, but I need it as selected as an item so that I can use it on the misses. It just sounds way dirtier than I intended. <clears throat> Hello, missus. Have laden jars. I'll bet Mr. Franklin would be interested to see this book on electricity, hmm? Electricity? Ben used to be so interested in electricity. Before he took ill, he'd skip lunch and dinner both and work into the wee hours of the morning on, at his electricity experiments. Say, lad, do you know anything about electricity? Well, I, uh, I have been known to light up an entire room bright as day with just the flick of my finger. Oh, splendid! That sounds like something Ben would have loved hearing about before. Do you think you could get him interested in electricity again? Sure, absolutely. Bitch, I can get anyone interested in electricity. Fucking bring it. Wonderful. Come in, lad. I'm going to be gone for a while, so just come and go as you please. Right this way. Do you, uh... Do you have a shilling? Because <laughs> I need it to go, if I please. Come on in, lad. By the way, you look familiar. Do you have a sister, by any chance? First hint. Uh, well, uh... I'm not doing your voice, because I just did Irma's, and that's exhausting. Well, my entire daughter's full name, so that the audience knows who the fuck we're talking to. This music is so grand. I'm in love with it. Like, don't you get it for him either, Sally. It'll do him good to stop soaking his hide and stand on his own two legs again. You just got home. Just never you mind, daughter. That's nobody's business but my own. Wow, rude. <laughs> Let's give us something about carrots. They keep mentioning them. Go on, Pepper. Be polite. I mean, they're very impractical. I have a book. Voting book. Oh. These are these other scenes that we get to do so much cool shit in later. Oh, so mean! I know you're- I know you're upset right now, but... Dude. Nice. Your daughter's so sweet. And sweeping with no prompting. What? I forgot how much I love this thing. Look at it. Look at it. It's magnificent. I gotta come up with a voice for you. I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> don't call me that. I hate it when you call me that. Oh. Mm -mm. Money is only money. Well, that's easier for you to say when you have a giant house and prestige, and sometimes that's all you needed in order to survive in this time of period. You see what I have to put up with, lad? This creature used to be the most respected man in the community. Now look at him. You are trying to drive this colony to the poorhouse, Ben Franklin. And Pug will thank you for it. Well, not while I have a breath in my body, husband. Good luck, lad. You'll need it. This music is a little intense. Oh boy.
Oh boy. Oh boy! End of chapter! Okay. Here we higgity heck and go. Uh, well. This is easy. Hats. They were a booming business back then. Put a boo! Why don't you do the, the fucking howl? Rude! What did Ben Franklin have to do with the colonial post offices? Uh, he was the first postmaster. We learned that on accident. Boo! Little jumpy jump. I really gotta come up with a voice for you. Who was the Penn family? Uh, um, the ballpoint pen. If that were the case, then pen would have two ends. I think it's this one. They were the governing family of Philadelphia for years. Because, like, everything is named after them. It's not just the mansion. Yeah, and, like... If it was just the mansion, it would be the architects, but no. They were unpopular through most of their reign. Except that so much shit is named after them. Ah, oh, being rich. Uh, what did Ben Franklin have to do with the potholes? Um... <laughs> okay, asphalt definitely is not right. Uh, these don't seem like something he would do. He was all about writing letters. Silence too good! Ah! That's, that's where that name's from. Yay, my vague recollections are coming in handy. Which one of these was not a British Taxation Act? Wow. Um. Okay, so I know this one was, and I know this one was. Uh, I think this one was, and I, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna educated guess. Ha ha! There never was a salt act! Got you! Get fucked! I win again! <laughs> so bad. Stop, stop zapping them with lightning. I know that's like the whole experiment that we're about to do in this chapter, but come on, man. Mean. Zap, pow, look at Ben now. Okay, we're not gonna go into Act 3. This, this one's already running a little long. It's fine. These are the things that I will inevitably forget by the next time that I do a recording session because I will be stressed about final exams. But I'll I'll check y'all later, okay? Well, I'll I'll do the, like the first little bit. So I'm standing here. Is there talking? No. Fantastic. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. We'll pick up here later. Okay. Bye bye.